Morgan, this is our Venetiek selection. And like the word is saying, it's so special, this wine was selected from a Venetiek. And there's so many questions about the aging potential and the longevity of a wine, that this for the wines was literally selected from the Venetiek. So they will be in pristine condition. And let me open it up yeah, and show you. And uh, yeah, here you can see three vintages of Shiraz 2013. It's been an exceptional, it was a great vintage. 2015, you can see this wine even achieved a double gold and a trophy, Michelangelo. And then 17, uh, just been a, except also a great vintage. And the same with Merlo, uh, 13, 15 and 17. And guys, this is a great gift to purchase uh, for the collector. Uh, all this wine still have another five to ten years ahead of it. And um, yeah, like I mentioned, it's from a Winnetiek and there's so many questions, you know, how long can a wine mature? But if it mature up to now in under ideal conditions, the wines just have a great sort of future ahead of it and the potential to even mature another like I mentioned, 10, 15 years. Uh, Tom, I have a few questions for you now. Uh, you, you talk about this, is a, uh, this was a good vintage, this is an exceptional vintage. What makes a good vintage? Yeah, there's, there's a few things involved, but you know, if there's a good water table in the soil due to good rain or irrigation, and uh, from Verizon, that's here in Durban, all around New Year, where the berries in this case start turning from hard green blue color to sort of red and you can start picking uh, berries from the cluster and chew it till you have about 50% what the French call verraison. From there onwards, if you can have 45 to 60 days under ideal weather conditions where the climate stay moderate, there's no heat waves, there's no hail or fires or something drastic, uh, then the science is there or the potential is there for a great vintage. And funny enough, all three of these vintages, and can you believe it, all three of them is uneven years. So there's a bit of a voodoo in the industry to say that uneven years is better. Than, and I must say in my last 20 years, it's definitely so that uneven vintages is better than even vintages. And as you know, there's no proof in it. It's purely coincidence. And then if, if some of the consumers or our viewers, they, they buy these wines, how would, how would they store it if, if they wanted the ideal conditions? I, I will suggest, because they are already uh, 13, 15 and 17, uh, I will suggest start drinking the 13s at the occasion and follow it, let's say, a month or a week later <laughs> by, by, the, by the 15s and then later on the 17s. But it's, they've been matured quite well. Uh, but, you know, the, the worst thing you can do now is expose this beautiful box the Vinatier box to extreme heat or sunlight, then the wines will definitely not last. But you know, the, the foundation is there, was, is there, and uh, that is, of course, a good start. So if people can just keep it under mild, moderate conditions, like I mentioned, the wines have a lifespan ahead of them. Yeah, uh, I think this is lovely wines and it's already mature for the viewers. Um, thank you guys for, for watching this video, and uh, I encourage you guys to buy this. This was stored neatly and it's ready to open like Charles said. You can open one each week. Enjoy.